Oh. Oh, shit. I was gonna say, like, that Zampano guy was not supposed to betray us. Alright, what's up everybody? We are on episode 43 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is called Bite of the Ant. Yeah, I myself am going on an absolute streak lately with this show because I've been watching the past, I don't know, like five, six episodes maybe in the, you know, past couple of days. And I'm still continuing right now because I'm honestly just super into it and I want to, you know, see where it keeps going. Even if I know very well that like we still have quite a ways to go until we get to that actual very end, right? But you can tell that a storm is brewing, let's say, right? And uh, everything is sort of building up to... Well, not necessarily a final battle now. I mean, there's a there's an, a literal battle that's about to unfold, of course, between Drachma and the people at Briggs Base that are just gonna... I, I actually... I mean, I'm trying to understand how this would work out because isn't it true that, um, you know, like what the, the bad side actually wants is for Briggs Base to get that particular part of Drachma, I guess, right? Because that way... I don't know exactly how the, the, the ins and outs, you know, uh, work of this huge geopolitical, I guess, conflict then, right? But, like, obviously they want that small part, um, you know, so that they can form the full circle and everything. That's the other thing that I got a little bit confused about. But, like, with Sloth digging a tunnel, at first I thought that what he had done is he had been um, digging it all the way around, right? Because that's, I mean, it's a, it's a transmutation circle, right? But at the same time... I actually think I shouldn't have seen it that way. A mistress is just supposed to be the circle, right? But then what Sloth has been trying to dig is more these like edging, like these edge edge points, I guess, right? So uh, yeah, like, like he's just been sort of building straight tunnels instead. Interesting. But you know, I mean, it's all technicals kind of, right? Like I, I don't think we need to really get all these ins and outs explained too deeply. Or maybe they did and I just, you know, like glanced over it. I always obsess a little bit too much about the details i do know but um still everything is sort of being set up for them to perform this huge transmutation ritual at some point down the line right and it's up to edward and you know or his friends to put a stop to it which now we're slowly working up towards discovering a way to put a stop to it um actually right which is to use alkahestry instead and funnily enough they can use Apparently, a, a, a very similar type of circle, uh, you know, using alkahestry instead of regular alchemy, I guess, or, you know, like the transmutation ritual. For what, right? That remains the question. Like, what will it actually achieve? I guess, most importantly, to put a stop to the other ritual. But, um, you know, is it actually gonna, you know, gonna do something else simultaneously, right? Is it gonna get rid of all the homunculi, for example? Is it somehow gonna be able to defeat Father and to defeat, uh, yeah, like Salim and, like I said, the other homunculi or something uh, by doing that, you know? But, like, is it gonna catch capture them within that circle? And is it, obviously, gonna uh, give Edward and Alphonse their, you know, uh, parts or their actual full body back? More questions to ask yourself, I guess, right? But <laughs> we'll have to see how it all pans out. I do have to point out that, like, I missed a small after credit scene um, uh, in the last episode. I, I literally, like, browsed through it and I thought that there wasn't any, but then that turned out still to be one. Thankfully, I found out, though. But, I mean, it wasn't very significant. It was, like, 20 seconds. And all that it really was was, like, one of the two Chimera dudes calling up Envy to reveal the location of Dr. Marco and everybody else. Uh, to them. So Bradley and Envy now know where they are all holed up and I guess they're gonna go towards them. So they are at immediate danger right now, right? But um, yeah, like that's that's basically that. Also, I found out that the place that um, uh, Hohenheim actually visited was in fact Lior, right? The city from the, the third episode. I I don't think I actually caught that while watching the episode at first, but they were sort of re trying to rebuild the place after it had obviously been destroyed, right, with all the conflict that was happening there. Um, uh, yeah, early on in the show. So it was, you know, cool to kind of get that call back already, but obviously very smart to how the bad guys, you know, just to call them like that, they had set up this toxic water, uh, you know, right near where they were building the tunnel and stuff, right, just so that they wouldn't be able to go anywhere near it obviously Hohenheim still managed to use alchemy to get over it and stuff 
confronted Salim right there. And we, we realized that Salim can't actually move outside of... I don't know exactly how he worded it. I, I think he just can't move outside of the tunnels. What I thought at first was like, oh, he can't move outside of a mistress, but that's not what it is. Yeah, why is he limited to the tunnels, though? How exactly does that work? I don't know. That's the thing, like, the origin of uh, of Salim is still something we very much need to get into. Uh, you know, we've only really seen the origins of uh, Bradley, of course, with how he was made. I mean, they used an actual person to... Uh, uh, yeah, well, to feed him, let's say, the, the, the Philosopher's Stone, right? And that created this homunculus version for Bradley. But it's interesting. I don't know if this is a slight spoiler or something, but somebody commented on YouTube on like a way prior episode. I mean, you know, I think on YouTube right now we're on like episode 30 or something like that as I'm recording this. And he, he told me that um, apparently Bradley is like a special case and not all the homuncul uh, homunculi were actually born from... Uh, or how should I put this? They, they didn't all have an actual human already as their origin, if you get what I'm saying. So I guess they were also just sometimes created out of nothing, literally, right? Um, yeah, and they didn't actually have a prior normal human form. But um, that being said, man, I can't believe... I, like, that's the thing. This show continues to sort of surprise me. Every single time I feel like, oh, I don't have that much to talk about necessarily. Let's just, you know, start watching this episode. And then here I go on a complete... <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, monologue, you know, talking about everything that's going on, right? But it's like, it's it's amazing stuff. That's what I'm saying. I'm like so into it. I love especially how we're starting to see that Honeim himself is playing a larger role and stuff, right? And we realize that he's kind of a good guy just trying to put a stop to it. And, you know, I, I obviously called him like a prisoner um, uh, who got forced into this situation, I guess, right? As the, the slave that he was that just got essentially... Yeah, got turned into a by uh, by this entity, you know, by what the father became. Um, but but even then, you know, him already teaching the people in Xing some of the Alka history tells me that like Hohenheim long already knows probably about this like Alka history circle or something, right? He realizes that Alka history is sort of the solution against the um, you know like the powers of uh, uh, of the bad guys. Like I said, I I don't know if that's should be considered, I guess it should be considered regular uh, alchemy, right? But uh, yeah, like, correct me if I'm wrong about that. But I mean, I think it is. It's just, it's just, um, how should I put this? Like, stuff like the transmutation rituals, we've seen, of course, Edward and Alphonse actually perform it uh, early on already, right? And it was looked at sort of as a sin, right? They talked about, oh, we did the unforgivable thing, essentially. But I guess it's still part of regular alchemy. It's just kind of like, the forbidden part of alchemy, right? Um, so, yeah, like, like, far, oh, sorry, Hohenheim has long realized that Alka history, uh, you know, can sort of be used against it. And that's why he's been teaching all, apparently, like, he literally set it up for the people at Xing to be, to become so good at it, right? Because they always talked about, like, oh, Xing, you know, they've got Alka history, they've got a different kind of alchemy that they use, and, um, you know, it's, it's able to heal people and stuff. And now we realize that, like, Hohenheim is probably the single person responsible for that whole origin of Xing, I guess, right? I mean, I don't know how far it goes back, but knowing that Hohenheim already goes back like 400 years, I'm guessing that he's he's the one responsible for everything on the on the good side, to put it like that, right? Which is fucking amazing. So uh, yeah, guys, I think I've done enough talking. We're gonna dive into the episode at hand, of course. If you enjoy my reactions to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, you can get early access to the next eight episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is gonna be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. Your support is very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place, so keep that in mind. You can also sign up for free, by the way, to the Patreon and already get early access to the next episode right away. So I hope to see you there. But for now, let's dive into episode 43 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh, shit. The first cannon shots. First signs of the war. Oh, dude, it's long begun, I feel. Damn. Nowhere to be found, huh? See, I, I guess what it is is Kimberly. Yeah. Oh. I mean, that's what I was saying. Like, they want the region ultimately, right? So it makes sense that, that they would actually want to win. Unless it's just Miles doing a great job. Oh, 
Exactly, dude. That's uh, that's what I was saying. Like, Gimli is happy with this. Now the now the region will be complete. They'll get that little part of Dragma, I guess. Me neither. What is the dragon's pulse? <laughs> you have to go womb? <laughs> it's like a mind thing, I guess, right? That's what she was pointing at. No. Yeah, you can play with Yoki. Nobody cares. Zampa no, so he's still among us, huh? Among us. That's us. Yeah, he went off to make a phone call. To our greatest allies. Uh, who's standing here all cloaked and stuff? Oh, what? Oh, of course. Yeah, okay, that tells me plenty. Welcome back, Envy. Damn. Just great. Oh, shit. I don't know if that's what you want to be telling him. I think the the Armstrong approach was a little better. Probably. It's crazy how she... Like, she's genuinely not aware of anything, right? She isn't aware at all. That that That's even more tragic. Probably dead. Oh, dude. A drifter. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was gonna say, Envy is not even trying to hide anything, huh? He's, he's here to kill you, my guy. I mean I still don't know what they exactly still want from Marco if anything like do they just want him dead so he isn't helping the other side or do they want him for themselves oh oh shit I was gonna say like that Zampano guy was not supposed to betray us he had family on the... At stake. Oh, shit. Uh... Yo, do we have uh, Edwards anywhere? Oh, fuck. Damn. Oh... See, so they are doing it from a... Oh, they're fooling him with all the landmine talk. Because I already felt like this is just probably Alphonse is doing or Edward's doing or something. Oh. Dude, is he going uh, Is he going crazy monster mode again or what? Yep, yep. The green bitch. And I'm guessing that those skulls and stuff are just the people that died from the Philosopher's Stone that erected them, I guess, right? Oh, damn! Chimera versus Homunculus. And me. Okay. Oh, dude. We are all gonna be here to take him down, man. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Oh, 
Oh, is dat de tang? Oh, de tang snatcht hem, dude. Oh, fuck. I mean, he can literally just kill him on the spot now. Once again, question is, does he even want that? He just wants to flee with him, I think. Knocked him unconscious. Not quite. Of course. Of course, that's what I'm saying. They're already dead. That's what I don't understand though, because... They had all the sort of emotions covered or whatever, right? Or what do you call them? Pride, wrath. What's the deal with that? Like, what would they call the, the new... Like, could they still make new homunculi? I guess so. What would they call them? Wow. Wow, man. Damn. Oh, shit. I know how to destroy him as well. Yo, what the fuck is Marco revealing? In terms of powers that he suddenly has. I mean... I guess it's just his alchemy. I never thought this man was this powerful. What the fuck? He just seemed like a innocent... Well, not innocent, but... Kind of powerless dude, right? Smart, but powerless. Holy shit. Arms coming off. Oh, fucking face coming off. <laughs> Yo. That's the core right there. Oh, oh, that is gross as fuck. Did we just take Envy out? Oh, we can. Wow. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> this is the smallest form. Really? Are we gonna keep this thing? Can we not destroy this last little bit too? Marco. That's crazy. Honestly, did not think that we'd be taking him out like this right now. But hey, one down, a bunch more to go. Reminds me we still haven't seen uh, Gluttony's new form either. <laughs> I would do the same thing. Yep. Yep, he took matters into his own hands. Love it. Yeah. Wow. I like his character, man. I like his character a lot. <laughs> really is like a fish. Oh my god, this, this, oh! Oh, maybe this is not good though. He really is leeching onto him like a fish too. You've got those kinds of fishes that will like... crawl up on you, right? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> you know, he kind of deserves this. <laughs> no. Scar won't eat her. He's like, side? I don't have a side in the first place. He, he probably isn't really affecting him, is he? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow. You can just threaten him like that? <laughs> Bluffing. 
こだ延期ってやる<笑>じゃあそろそろお前らの計画について聞かせてもらおうか知らないねうんだとこら<笑>入ったらあとは殺されるだけじゃねえかわ、wow. お I can't believe that this is how we're just talking to him now. Full Metal Pipsqueak. Where is he actually? I forget. Is he still like, I mean, he's still injured, right? That's the last we saw him of, of him, I think. Yeah, yeah, with the two guys. I don't think we've seen him the whole last episode, maybe. うん。少し前から考えていた。うん。その where does Alphonse want to go? Oh. Oh, shit. I mean, that would mean he would encounter his dad. Yo, yo, yo. Yuke,この国のこと Interesting how he's suggesting everybody to kind of go back. I guess May won't be part of the final battle. Oh, the panda did the bowing too. Oh. I feel genuinely bad about this, man. Like, I get it. But I also don't. Damn. I mean, I hope we do still see her, right? At some point. I'm sure we will. I feel like we need everybody we can get, though. That's the thing. Knowing what we're up against. Maybe she can still help us out from there. <laughs> Yo, who was that? Oh, he was with Greed? Oh, right. I mean, I, I recognize his face, but it's been a while, yeah. Oh, right, dude, we've got fucking Ling still. We haven't seen Ling in a fucking minute, man. You'd almost forget, dude. He's our new Greed. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh wow, you call me general brother. Gutless mug. <laughs> I don't really see her, you know, like, yeah, being able to have a husband either. I mean, she'd have a husband, but he'd be like a little pet or something, right? The three grand restrictions. Do not oppose the military, do not create gold, and do not fashion people. Avoid financial disorder. Oh, Alphonse is 
Yeah, that's funny that they have rules you can't create gold, actually. <laughs> Damn, what the, the, what the fuck do they have lined up here? Is this the factory? A powerful military force. Oh my god, no, I just wanted to learn more. Don't tease that. Alphonse has arrived already, huh? Oh yeah, Rose, I think she was called, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, we, we met Rose back in that third episode, didn't we? She was the woman. Yeah, I remember. Didn't she look a little younger there? I, I don't know how, how much time has passed since then. Oh, dude. Is this... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And of course, you can get early access to the next eight episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch the next episode right now. So I'll see you there.